Hi, this is Kumaran from AEL Technologies. I am going to teach you Unigraphics NX 10.0 drafting module. Before going into the tutorial, let me introduce myself briefly. I am a graduate in aeronautical engineering with 10 plus years of experience in various mechanical and aerospace industries. I have vast experience in new product design and development involved in electromechanical designs, SPMs, work holdings and aerospace products like aircraft seatings and structures. Let us move into our tutorial, chapter 1.0, Introduction to Drafting. Under this chapter, we are going to cover introduction to master model and standard models, master model versus standalone models. Introduction to master model and standalone models. Why master model concept in UGNX? NX has only one standard file type that is .prt file extensions which means NX will store different files with the same extension .prt so let me show you in our project folder so uh, different file types has been stored with the same dot prt file extension in our project folder for example if you see you can see this file it is an assembly file an assembly file from ug nx has been stored as dot prt file mdr 257305-1 is a piece part or an individual component again which has been stored with the same extension dot prt if you consider this final one this is a drawing file from ugnx which we which has been again stored as dot prt file extension so let us go back to our presentation so when we compare ugnx with other CAD softwares or packages like ProE, Creon, SolidWorks, CATIA. The other CAD packages has different extensions for each file types. For example, a ProE Creo. The part file in ProE Creo will have the file extension of .prt. An assembly file in ProE Creo will have a different extension like dot asm or asy and a drawing file in proecrio will have a different extension like dot drw or dwg since each file is different from each other the file extension will not allow us to put one file type into the other file type so for example if you take a, we cannot put a drawing file into a model file in other CAD packages or vice versa. So if you coming back to our Unigraphics UGNX since the part extension is same for different files it will allow us to swap between one environment to the other environment very easily. So in the NX, the standard way of storing the drawing file or a manufacturing file or a FEA model was inside the 3D CAD model, a part file itself as bundled together. So the new way of storing the file as a separated files is master model concept. So what is a standalone model? This is an old method of storing the drawing file or a manufacturing file or a FEA file which was stored in UGNX CAD model that is everything in one file as a picture debits here you can see very easily you can understand from the picture UGNX CAD file contains a model file along with drawing or manufacturing or FEA files so let us go to the UG environment and see how a standalone file will look. Yeah. 
So now, for this tutorial, I am being used a simple cylinder, for example. So, if you go to this assembly navigator, you can see a single square block. A single square block in UGNX represents an a piece part or an individual component. So let me toggle between model environment to drafting environment. And alternate keyboard shortcut to swap or toggle from model to drafting environment is control shift D. So as you can see here, a single file contains both 3D CAD model as well as 2D drafting. So this is called as standalone model. So let me go back to our presentation. So let's see what is master model. The model and other files, for example, a drawing file or it can be a manufacturing file or it can be any other files are separated from each other. So here the drawing file is separated from each other and a drawing is an assembly which contains the model as its component. In NX it is also known as reference existing part approach. So from the picture you can understand a master model is the 3D CAD model, an individual component which will become a component into a drawing assembly file. Again in a FEA assembly file the master model will become a component. In manufacturing assembly file the master model will become a component. So let us see in our UGNX environment. I am opening master model first. So this is our master model. For our example, I have used a simple block. I have used a simple block as our example. Let me go to this assembly navigator. You can see as I told you earlier, a single square block which indicates that it is an individual part or a component. So let me toggle from model environment to a drafting environment. You go to all applications, you can select drafting. See there is no drafting file or 2D drawing attached with this model. So let me open model underscore twg dot part. So this is a drawing file for that block. If you see in our navigator, assembly navigator, you can see a symbol like a series of blocks arranged each other upon. So that indicates it's an assembly file in our UGNX. So here in a drawing file the master model has been added as a component. So let me swap from drawing environment to modeling environment. You can see the model the master model has been called as a child part into our drawing file. So let me go back to our presentation. So we will see what is the difference between master model and the standalone model. A standalone model is an old 
approach or a standard approach. Uh, master model is the modern approach, also known as reference existing part approach. In standalone model, we will find a single CAD file for everything. In master model, technically a decouples model file, which means a 3D file from drawing file, a machining file, or analysis files. So here we will be having two or more files reference to one 3D CAD file. In standalone model, the approach suits better for legacy CAD data that was done in that way. If we consider our master model, the flow of information is from the master model onto the dependent files. The advantage of using the master model is it supports concurrent work on both the model and the drawings as well as other file types. It also helps us to keep the model's files smaller. So we are at the end of our chapter 1. Thank you.